this is a really hard question to answer because it's like I didn't really take the time to reflect on what I was going through in the moment. Well, I guess I can reflect about it now. Throughout that whole time that I was isolated from society and just like stuck in my own thoughts, I, at times I was discouraged. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was like in the beginning of the pandemic, I was just like, like my mental health was just so, it was suffering. That's what it felt like because I didn't know like that talking to people every day could like take your mind away from whatever you're going through. Like I was sinking into a state of depression and I, along with like some of my close friends just helped to pull me out of that. Uh, my self-care it hasn't really looked like anything besides my participation in the Liberation Summer Camp. So during my time in the Liberation Summer Camp, uh, we practiced mindful meditation. And I was talking to the instructor about how I was like really inspired to include that into my daily life. And that's when he had uh, mentioned to me how it doesn't have to be a traditional, like, oh, fold your legs, crisscross applesauce and uh, light some candles. You can just be in, like being aware in the moment, like being aware of something that's stressing you out or anything that's going on. I, I really wanna stress like, just like remembering to be friendly especially in New York City, it can be very hard to remember. As I mentioned, like this, the need or like the necessity for social interaction between humans is very important. So like I could potentially make someone's day or vice versa if I'm just showing that, that friendliness. It's important that parents, teachers, it's important that they realize how stressful it can, it can be or like how overwhelming it can be on the youth. Parents or teachers have this tendency to, to like compare how it was when they were growing up or to, to like how it is now, but they just have to be mindful that stuff is not the same. Like we had to remotely learn. We had, well, me personally, I had no prompt. Like over the course of remote learning, I had to be my own professor. They didn't have to graduate through a uh, a computer screen in their living room. I want parents and teachers just this, to just continue to be that beacon of support so that teenagers and students can flourish into what they're supposed to be.